Uh, yeah, Kurt, I guess um, obviously with Brails out, big role for you now. Yeah, um, it, is, it is a big loss having Brails um, gone for the rest of the year, but like, you've seen Phoenix the last couple of weeks, and he's played some really good footy there. And me and Phoenix are kind of been um, juggling that sort of role, you know, just, just so he until he finds his feet and gets his lungs. So, um, you know, he's doing a great job there as well. How are you feeling this season? Seems like everything's going pretty well. Yeah, uh, I've had a bit of a up and down sort of start. I've missed a few games. This, that was the first back to back games I've played all year. So, uh, don't to jinx myself yet. Just got to get through this week of training so I can put three in a row together. I see you and Phoenix are doing a few extras out there. Um, what's you, you doing that pretty often? Yeah, uh, Benzie grabs us after training just with Braille's gone now and puts us through our paces. You know, it's pretty, pretty good getting taught uh, by one of the best nines that ever played the game. So, uh, yeah, me and Phoenix have been trying to get together and do a few little things after training. You, is it, does it feel different this year, this side? It seems like there's a lot more resilience about you guys and obviously last weekend was it showed. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's got a bit of an old school feel to it. Eh? The, the game on the weekend kind of reminded me of when I was a kid. You know, I used to watch, watch a fair bit of Newcastle footy and that and it, uh, watching the game back, it, it, you know, it seemed a lot like that. The field was beat up and uh, everyone was sort of just out there uh, trying to get the job done as well. So. Um, yeah, it's definitely a different feel to what it was last year. It's a whole different feel, a whole different mentality with the group. So um, yeah, it's really exciting. Is it just the confidence levels of that? Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, everyone's always confident. You're always quietly confident. Uh, last year we were confident, but um, you know, I think we've just had a mentality shift. Uh, ads and the other coaching staff put a lot of things in places this year that, uh, you know, it's shown with shown within our games of footy, you know, games that we're, we're not playing very well, not starting well, you know, we're always in contests. So, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty pleasing to be a part of a team that does that. Trip to Townsville. Um, how do you how do you remember Townsville when you go up there? Uh, Townsville's a big smoke for me. So where I grew up, Townsville was like a big city. So I was the closest city. It was about five and a half hours away. So I think all my family will be up there this weekend. So it'll be good to catch up with them and. Um, they haven't seen me play footy in about probably three years, two, three years, so it would be good to have them there. Uh, the record-wise, how do you go up there? Um, oh, I've done all right uh, over my career up there, but um, you know, last time I've been, last couple of times I've been up there the night, so I don't think we've got the choppies, so um, we go up there with a good attitude and, and perform what we did on the weekend. You know, I'm sure we'll be able to get the job done. Are you expecting a very desperate Cowboys, given the way their season has gone so far? Yeah, I think you know, every team wants to win every week, so it's, it's not a matter of being a desperate. But desperation definitely helps, you know. But um, they, they always want to win, and they're, they're always a dangerous side across the park. You know, they've got a lot of strike out wide, and you know they got some big boys in the middle as well. How much fire is there in the belly to after so it's such a such a good game, but such a down at the end? Like, how, is the fire there ready to take it to the next level? Yeah, definitely. Um, Losing a golden point game, they're, they're always sort of hard ones to take. You know, you come so close and uh, you put so much into it, and then just just to miss out. So uh, yeah, the fire's still there, and I don't think it'll take much to get the boys out this week. Can you pinpoint anything to why the second half starts haven't been great this season? Can't really point it, uh, point the finger at one thing. Uh, it's just at the moment, it's it's sort of just the boys taking accountability. I don't, I don't think it's got too much else to do with that. Um, uh, we're in control of what we do with the footy and, and when we've got the footy and uh, what we did on the weekend, you know, the, the errors and back-to-back -back errors and not finishing our sets, that just uh, kind of, we shot ourselves in the foot and just didn't give ourselves a chance in the second half. Do you like Golden Point? I would prefer not to go to Golden Point, I prefer to win before you, before going to Golden Point, but uh, no, these are the games you remember. Once you retire, you, you, I think you always remember the Golden Point games you play. Taylor's after this week, mate. What's that done to the team? Uh, yeah, mate, Callan's a massive presence, you know, he's, everyone knows what he can do on the field and um, as a leader as well, so he, he's going to be really really important in that aspect of the, of the game as well, just being out, um, one of our generals around the field, so I'm um, you know, really happy to have him back and you know, can't wait to see him get out there. His, his return will probably shuffle a few things around, where are you sort of expecting to play this week and what role you'll play? Uh, I think I'm going to play at 13, I haven't seen the team list yet yeah. or anything, and uh, I trained at 13 out there and a bit of hooker, been, like I said, been juggling that with Phoenix, but um, I'm not sure how the shuffle's going to work, I'd leave that up to Adzi, he's pretty good, that sort of stuff, not me. Yep.